The iOS app for the Blackline X Powered Series is now available to download. This tutorial video will guide you through everything you need to know to control your Blackline X powered system from an iPad or iPhone, previously only possible from the rear panel of the speaker. First go to the App Store and download XP Connect. The app is free and is available for both iPhone and iPad. The first step is to establish a Bluetooth connection by pairing with your iOS device. This is required to stream Bluetooth audio regardless of whether you intend to use XP Connect. This must be done using settings on your iPad or iPhone. It's not possible to pair via XP Connect. Open Settings and select Bluetooth. Make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. Now go to your Blackline XP12, 15 or 118. If you have two or more Blackline X powered speakers, choose one to be the main control. It's unimportant which one. You'll be able to link to the second speaker to control both from XP Connect, as well as streaming a stereo audio track to both speakers via Bluetooth. Go to the rear panel and press the control knob, scroll round to the menu icon under the master fader and press to select the menu. Scroll down to Bluetooth, select pair and push to enter. The Blackline X powered speaker will now show that it is discoverable. On your iPhone or iPad, it will now appear in the list of Bluetooth devices. Click on it to complete the pairing. Back on the Blackline X powered speaker, the rear panel will show paired. Note that you will need to complete the pairing within 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, the speaker will come out of discoverable mode and you'll have to reselect the pairing option. If you are using two Blackline X powered speakers, you will need to link them using the link feature in the Bluetooth menu on the speaker. Select the link feature and press to enter. You will need to do this on both speakers. The text will show searching and once the connection is established, one will display primary and the other secondary. Open XP Connect and it will search for the paired speaker and once found connect to it after which it will go straight to the mixer screen. If we click on settings we can take a look at the preferences available. First presets. These are the internal system presets which enable you to configure your Blackline X powered speaker according to how you have it deployed. Either full range used in conjunction with a subwoofer or as a floor monitor. Just click on the required option to select it. The selected option will remain displayed so you can refer back at any time to check which preset is selected. Now the Bluetooth menu which allows you to configure how your speaker or speakers respond to Bluetooth commands. Auto Connect is enabled by default. This means that as soon as you open XP Connect, it will connect to the paired Blackline X powered speaker. If you want to manually connect, perhaps run XP Connect in demo mode to try out the app without disrupting the settings in your Blackline X powered speakers, you can turn Auto Connect off. The stereo and zone option changes the way that Bluetooth signals are routed. In stereo mode, the two speakers are linked with a single main and Bluetooth fader. Bluetooth stereo audio signals will be routed left to one speaker and right to the other. 
these can be reversed if left and right are found to be round the wrong way. In zone mode, Bluetooth audio is routed in mono to both speakers, with independent level control of both the Bluetooth channel and the main faders. Auto link will ensure that a linked pair of speakers connect to each other automatically for stereo or zoned operation. If you no longer want to keep your two speakers linked, you can disconnect them using the unlink button. The stereo and zone option disappears and the unlink button now becomes link, allowing you to restore the link connection. Snapshots allows you to store and recall up to three of your own combinations of settings. Once you have finished configuring your system, click on Store. You'll see a confirmation window asking if you're sure you want to overwrite the snapshot. Click OK to confirm. You can click Rename to give the snapshot a name of your choice. A click on Recall will recall your snapshot. Note that this happens instantaneously. There is no confirmation pop-up. You can return to the factory default settings by clicking on the button at the bottom of the page to override the last recalled snapshot. Finally, Options. This has configuration options for your Blackline X powered speakers. You can select whether the default home screen on the LCD display is the mixer page or the menu. And the screen saver can be set to high, low or off. In high mode, the screen remains at full brightness. In low mode, the screen dims after 30 seconds of inactivity. In off mode, the screen turns off completely after 30 seconds. The screen reverts back to full brightness whenever the encoder is rotated or pressed. Also in the options page, we have two help features. First is the user manual, which will connect to the online user guide for the Blackline X powered range. Contact Support links you to the Support Contacts page on the Martin Audio website. Both of these options are available as long as you have an internet connection to your iPhone or iPad. Finally, the Options page has a button allowing you to disconnect from the system. Click on Faders to return to the Mixer page. In unlinked mode, you'll see faders for input channel 1, channel 2, the Bluetooth channel and main. Each input has a mute and an EQ button. In linked stereo, you'll see channel 1 and 2 for both the primary highlighted green and secondary highlighted blue speakers, along with the Bluetooth fader, which is common to both primary and secondary. In linked zone mode, you'll see channel 1, channel 2 and Bluetooth faders for both primary and secondary speakers, plus independent main faders for both. Each fader can be freely adjusted. Channels 1 and 2 range from minus 30 to plus 40 dB. Bluetooth from 0 dB to minus 30 dB. 
all channels can be muted, indicated by the mute button turning red. Clicking on the EQ button on any channel moves the fader over to the left of the screen and opens the EQ controls. These offer plus and minus 12 dB of cut and boost for the low, mid and high frequencies, plus a high pass filter adjustable from 10 Hz, essentially out of circuit, up to 400 Hz. This is particularly useful for vocal mics to eliminate low frequencies below the vocal range, which can muddy the vocal sound. The Bluetooth channel features the same 3-band EQ, but without the high pass filter. Whilst in EQ view, you can select between channels using the left-right arrows at the top of the window, allowing you to quickly configure the EQ for all inputs on both speakers. Clicking on Close EQ returns you to the mixer window. The main fader, or faders in zone mode, can be adjusted from plus 10 dB down to minus infinity, and also features a mute switch. XP Connect is a very intuitive, quick and easy app to help configure a Blackline X powered system.